In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college basketball games happening on March 29, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. St. Bonaventure vs. Xavier The Xavier Musketeers take on the St. Bonaventure Bonnies on Tuesday night in the semifinals of the National Invitation Tournament at Madison Square Garden. These two teams haven't met since 2013 and Xavier has won seven of the last eight meetings overall, though this one has the potential to be a close one. The Bonnies have won three in a row overall and eight of their last ten, playing some of the best basketball seen from them over the last few years. For Xavier, a dreadful finish to the regular season has now given way to three straight wins, and while the wins haven't been easy, they might have refound their confidence. There's nothing like the National Invitation Tournament at Madison Square Garden, and Tuesday will prove that to still be true. St. Bonaventure is 4-1 against the spread in their last five games played on Tuesday. The over is 6-1 in Xavier's last seven neutral site games. The under is 4-1 in Xavier's last five games played on Tuesday. St. Bonaventure has been led by their defense, which ranks 72nd in scoring defense and 49th in turnover margin. However, the offense has struggled at times as the Bonnie come into this matchup ranked just 208th in scoring offense. Xavier has been led by their offense which ranks 100th in scoring offense and 128th in field goal percentage while the defense has been average, ranking 167th in scoring defense. These two teams are evenly matched on paper with no clear-cut advantages for either squad. The Bonnies have been playing better basketball over an extended period of time and are in better form both straight up and against the spread. The Bonnies are 4-1 against the spread in their last five Five games while Xavier is just 2-8 against the spread over the last 10 games and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven neutral side games. Xavier is a solid team. However, most of their success this season has come at home as the Musketeers have just a 4-6 road record and 1-2 neutral side record. St. Bonaventure had a disappointing season by not making the NCAA tournament. However, this is a team that has a talented starting unit that has a bunch of experience and as I the Bonnie's defense is going to give Xavier some trouble. Expect both defenses to impose themselves in this game. However, I expect St. Bonaventure is going to really slow down the pace in this game. The Bonnie's defense has been strong most of the season and Xavier's offense has been inconsistent at best. I don't see Xavier getting over 60 points and that is going to be the difference in this game. The Bonnie's will make the big plays down the stretch that make the difference. So the St. Bonaventure win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Given the depth issues for the Bonnie's, they'll definitely be looking to have this one played at a slow pace which should serve to drive down the scoring for both teams. Adding in that Xavier will aim to exploit their mismatch in the paint, they too will be content to draw this one out and try to feed the inside, as opposed to relying on the three-point shot. Adding in Scruggs being out for Xavier, his scoring is likely to be missed. Additionally, for the Bonnies, the under is 4-0 in their last four games as a favorite, 5-1 in their last six games following a straight-up win and 4-1 in their last five Tuesday games. These teams play with contrasting styles with Xavier ranked 94th in Kempham adjusted tempo and St. Bonaventure ranked 253rd. Look for the Bonnies to try to slow things down and limit the Musketeers from getting out in transition. Both these defenses play solid shot defense conceding less than 42.5% on all shots from the field. Neither offense has displayed particularly impressive shooting, especially beyond the arc where they both average below 33%. Expect a tough nose defensive grind on Tuesday night. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington State vs. Texas Aggies Number 4 seed Washington State takes on number 1 seed Texas Aggies in a national invitation tournament semifinal matchup on Tuesday night. 
Washington State pulled off impressive victories over the SMU Mustangs and the Brigham Young Cougars to earn their spot as one of the last teams standing. Texas Aggies blew out Wake Forest to advance to the penultimate round. The victor will battle the winner of Xavier vs. St. Bonaventure for the National Invitation Tournament Championship on Thursday night. Washington State is 0-5 against the spread in their last five neutral site games and 4-9 against the spread in their last 13 games following an against the spread win. The under is 3-1-1 in Washington State's last five games. Texas Aggies is 9-2 against the spread in their last 11 games and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven neutral site games. The under is 4-0 in Texas Aggies' last four games. The Aggies just barely missed getting into the NCAA tournament, and they have steamrolled their way through the National Invitation Tournament. Washington State's impressive play has made the spread very small. The Texas Aggies' impressive shooting defense that holds the opposition to 41.4% field goal shooting and 31.8% three-point shooting is a perfect matchup against a Cougars team that shoots just 4.7% from the field and 33.8% from behind the arc. The Aggies ran a defensive clinic against a Wake Forest team that has a noticeably stronger offense than Washington State. The Aggies have lost just one of their last 11 games, and they've taken out some top-ranked schools during that time. The Texas Aggies haven't had a lot of trouble during this national invitation tournament either, as each win has been by 12 points or more. As for Washington State, they've lost just one of their last eight games and are scoring well. The Cougars have hit 71 or more points in five of those outings and should post a decent total in this one. This should be a very entertaining game to watch between two teams that have played really solid basketball over the last few weeks. Washington State is the slightly better defensive and rebounding team, while the Texas Aggies have the slight edge in points per game. This game could go either way, but I have to give the Texas Aggies the edge because they have been playing lights out over their last 11 games. Ultimately, I think the Texas Aggies will be a little too much to handle, so the Texas Aggies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The defenses will be a bigger part of this game than people are talking about. According to Ken Palm, the Texas Aggies have the 31st most efficient defense and the Cougars have the 26th most efficient defense. They have both been able to hold their opponents to extremely low point totals over the past few games. Both of these teams will be very nervous, as this will most likely be the first time that these players have played inside Madison Square Garden. I wouldn't be surprised if both teams started very slow. I also love the fact that the Aggies have the 205th lowest adjustment adjusted tempo in the country, and the Cougars have the 230th lowest adjusted tempo rating. According to Ken Palm, neither team will be pushing the ball up the court as fast as they can and they will patiently wait for the best possible shot opportunity each time down the court. Both of these teams are better on defense than they are on offense, and both teams have been playing their best defense of the season in the National Invitation Tournament. The poor shooting percentages of Washington State should minimize the value of each trip down the court. These teams will play slower and try to limit the number of shots that the other team takes. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.